What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so we did a lot over at Seamawville, and now it is finally time to us to, to continue our little adventure right here. It's not so much of a little adventure, it's just a side quest and all that crud, and you guys already know, Draven loves his side quests. Now, I do believe I didn't put on some super repel. Yeah, just what I thought. So, let's go right ahead and move on to the next adventure, and that is going back to Route 108 to 109 and just battling everybody, you know? Because we can. And, uh, you know, trading some Pokemon along the way and all that stuff, too. So, anywho, guys. Um, let's see. Dedication, yes. This is episode 30, and we... <laughs> as we are recording this, it is July 4th, America Day. That's right. Greatest goddamn country in the whole goddamn world. I'm just playing with you guys. I don't even know. I don't even care. Anywho, yes, um, we're recording this, and uh, I am literally stocking up on some uh, some videos for you guys, especially for this walkthrough. We got a lot of things planned out for this one. That way, you guys stay entertained as I continue on with my main walkthroughs, you know, in the Unova region and whatnot. Hopefully, we'll be done by that time. I don't know. I think we will be done at that time. So, let's go right ahead and continue on right here with Swellow. How's it going, Swellow? And... There we go, Electro Ball. For the win! And... There we go. Swellow just getting its butt kicked right there and then. And, well... Look at that, Shroomly growing to level 22. Learning Worry Seed, and, well... I'm gonna take a... Keep the old moves right now, because we don't need that. Now... Yes, I still have all the, I still have all the other Pokemon that I've had since, uh, you know, since the last episode. We're trying to train them all, just so, you know, eventually we, you know, we have a nice stack team everywhere else. In my Pokemon Omega Ruby game, the one that I'm pretty much, the one I'm pretty much playing right now alongside this game, I'm uh, stocking up on all the on the all the Pokemon. Eventually, I'm gonna breed them and then set them over right here. That way, we actually have like you know, teams, good teams, duplicate teams, and all that stuff. And uh, what else? Oh yeah, I'm also learning how to like do reels and all that crud right here. So we're gonna be doing some informational stuff, informational reels. And well, let's get, let's go. Charge beam for the win. And there you go. Look at that. Okay, Thunderbolt kicking some butt, taking some names, and here comes Breloom, the Pokemon we hope to get once we're done with this whole thing right here. And, well, we're going to go with the next best option, Tommy JDF. This guy is looking like a tank right here. Now, the Fighting-type Pokemon in this generation just... I really like the combos. Okay, you got one with Fire and Fighting. You got this one right here, Grass and Fighting. And then you got Pokemon like Hadouken, or not Hadouken, but... Uh, Dalsim, the Meditite, Psychic at Fighting. Those are... You can't beat those, uh, you can't beat those combos right there. I think in this one right here... I think in this uh, generation, I, I'm all about the Fighting-type Pokemon, because back in what? I, I guess it, back in, uh, Pokemon, like, in, in uh, Generation 2, I was all about the Water-type Pokemon. And I'm pretty sure... <laughs> I'm pretty sure everybody can identify with, like what their favorite type in each generation would have to be. Kanto, I think my favorite gener or my favorite typing. Hmm. I can't really say. I think it would have to be like fire types or something like that because what well, you got Charizard, Magmar is a pretty uh, pretty good pokemon. At one point when Flareon was actually pretty cool and then you know you got Ponyta, Rapidash and all that crud. Um but I, I think it's that. Yeah, they were electric type Pokemon, but yeah. In Generation 2, it's mostly water type Pokemon because they're pretty cool. And then in Generation 3, which would have to be, you know, the Hoenn region and this, it's gonna have to be fighting type Pokemon. And well, let's see. Hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and take away Tackle for just right now. And. Bam. Hydra wins. Leer and Shroomly still growing some levels and just like that BAM Digivolution time okay so Shroomly didn't really do anything 
and yet it's still evolving. This was the plan the entire time, and that is to just, you know, get these Pokemon to grow and whatnot, and bam, look at this. Oh, yes, this Pokemon is looking like a friggin' tank, and the cool thing about this is, too, when Shroomly evolves, or Breloom, or it evolves into, or Shroomish bro evolves into a Breloom, it will learn Mog Punch, which is the equivalent of a quick, uh, quick attack right here. So, let's go right ahead and take away Headbutt, because we, don't, we really don't know anything else like that. So, there it is, and bam. Okay, alrighty. Some pretty good Pokemon on our team. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on right here. And here we are in Route 109. We are in the home stretch of this whole thing. And yes, we are going to be battling some more trainers. And this guy right here is a fisherman, and he will be coming out with his tentacle. That looks pretty scary right there. Alrighty. Let's use Electro Ball. For the win. You know, nothing serious and all that crud. And, well, look at that. Look at that. Holy crud. We did it. Okay. And, well, Fisherman Carter is not liking this right now. But he lost uh, he lost himself a, a good fish. Or a Pokemon or whatever. And I think... Can you find something here? Yeah. It, it's always good to check, guys. Because, holy crud. And... Well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and take a look at more trainers towards the edge and it looks like we found something right here you'll be able to find yourself a big pearl which of course you can buy for or you can sell for big money right here and there could be something else there's nothing let's go ahead and use a repel and bam okay so let's go ahead and continue our battling now that we got Breloom or Shroomly itself let's go ahead and use it Yep. <sighs> Let's get it. Bring it. Are you properly protected against the sun? Well, I'll tell you this right now, guys. Not me. I may or may have not gotten sunburnt a while back, and that right there is hurt. That, that, yeah, it hurts. And I'm currently still peeling, so my bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm dark. I am literally dark right now. So there it is. Mega Drain. Goldine is surviving, and here comes an Aqua Ring. And this Pokemon right here is going to heal up just because of the body of water that's around it. But, here comes a Mach Punch. Priority Punch right here. Bam. Look at that. Easy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. There you go. And Shroom Lee gets the victory. And, well, Thunderball going to level 41. And it's finally learning Discharge. So, let's go ahead and take away Electro Ball right here. Now, the... This move right here was all based on, let's see, the the speed. So now this charge is a double double hit move, and well, not a double hit move, but it hits two people at one time. And well, I'm gonna continue on with Shroomly right here. It's the Shroomly show, featuring Shroomly the Breloom, and we're gonna go with a Mega Drain. And that nearly takes Whalmer away. And well. Oh my god, here comes a missed attack, so let's go Mega Drain for the win, and just like that, oh yeah, Shroomly does its thing, and Tommy JDF grows to level 44, and is learning Slash, and well, this move is very, very powerful with critical hits, hmm, yeah. You know what, we're going to keep the same moves, and then eventually, later on, I'm going to, like, you know, reteach some moves and all that stuff, so... We'll see what happens. No, keep the old moves, and boom. Just like that. Okay, alrighty. That right there is that. Now, we're going to go into the next thing, and that is, uh... Well, finding some more people. Look at this. we got twins. Huh. I think there are twins. And I can't switch without my inner tube, but I won't lose that Pokemon. Hmm. Okay, alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So here we go, take it on uh, Tuber, Tuber Gwen, and she will have herself in a Zuro, a Zumeral. Always get those things confused. Okay, alrighty, bring it. And here comes the Mega Drain, of course. The what was it called? 
Oh, wow, that was super powerful. That right there was a, f what, a fairy type move? Yeah, I'm not going to risk that right there. So here we go, switching out our Pokemon, and we are in charge right here. Here is Thunderball, and a helping hand does not work, so let's go ahead and use its newest move, Discharge. And there we go, Azumarill has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. And Shroom Lee just growing levels just because, well, it's looking good and all that crud. Alrighty, alrighty. Okay, so who's next? Let's go right here. And here we have another tuber. She's like, hi, big trainer. Will you battle with me? Sure, why not? Let's go ahead and do it. So here we go. Tuber Carmen would like to battle. And this tuber does have another Azuril. And oh, Azumarill, I should say, and that is not a Pokemon you would want to mess with, mainly because of its fairy type capabilities. So let's go right ahead, go with Thunderbolt yet again, and here comes the Bubbly Beam. And that right there just it really doesn't do much except lower our speed just a tad bit. But luckily for us, we are faster, we are mightier, level 41, you know. And there you go. Okay, alrighty, 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 and look at this, Shroom Lee grows level again without doing anything. Gaia the Fierce Knight, level 38, Fluff Blade, level 23, wants to learn uh, Takedown, and, well, we're going to take away its natural gift attack right here, because it's really not, yeah, it's not that, yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Who uses Berry, seriously? Probably only the Pokemon Rangers. Okay, so... Got those two done. I think we're almost done here. We just gotta get the gotta get towards the other side here. And well, let's see. There could be another trainer. I saw one right there. There's a shore right here. We've already beat this guy. Not going to uh, take on that person. But yes, there are two more trainers. Three more trainers, I should say. Let's see. Let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Let's go with some Sodi Pups right here that we haven't used in ever. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and switch it out to Fluff Blade right here. I know it's taking a risk, but I think I can manage it right here. So here we have a couple. Our love for each other is heating up Owen. Oh, no. I don't want you interrupting our time to alone together. Hmm. Okay, alrighty, so here we are taking on young couple Mel and Paul, and they will be coming out with uh, some butterflies and moths and all that crud. Yeah, I don't think I have the right combination right here. So let's go with Thunderball right here, and let's go with a Pokemon that cannot be affected by this guy. Alright, let's go with Tommy JDF. It's, a, it's just a matter of... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's just a matter of, uh, what was it called, uh, matter of principle and all that stuff. It can't take it. Okay, so, Tommy JDF right here. We're gonna get affected by something, and here comes an air cutter. Hits us both. And here comes a silver wind. Wow, okay, so that is not super effective, but we got a discharge attack, which is gonna hit everybody right here. And let's go with the bulk up just to, you know, just, oh, wow, never mind. And everybody but Dustox is defeated. And bam, okay, so everybody's getting some points. Here comes a bulk up, a very unnecessary bulk up. And, well, here comes a side beam attack. Should have hit, yeah, you should have hit. You should have hit Tommy JDF, but no, you didn't want to do that. So here goes a charge beam attack for the win. And there you go. Finish it off. Okay, alrighty. And, well, look at this. Shroom Lee is just growing levels like crazy, like if it was still on our team for some reason. And Mel and Paul, embarrassed. That's how you do it. Okay, so... Let's go right ahead and move on into the next area right here. And talk to this individual right here. There is, this guy is actually surfing himself. <laughs> Hurry up! Oh, wow. 
So he looks like he's sick. And it's a female, her name is Portia, and she will be coming out with a Kecleon right here. One thing you guys should know, Kecleon does have the ability to switch uh, typings if you physically hit it. So let's go with a Mock Punch, see what that does. And Kecleon, color change, there it is. It's now a fighting type Pokemon. And, well, this is a rock type capability move. And that is going to increase every single stat this guy has. Holy crud. Alright, let's go with the Mega Drain. You would think that Kecleon is a grass type Pokemon, but no, they made it into a normal type, and that right there hits me hard. Holy buckets, and that, yeah, that didn't really do anything. Holy crud. Okay, so, ha <laughs> uh, ha! Mock Punch, yet again. So here we go, Mock Punch. And, wow, this Pokemon is tanking our stuff, and, wow, Shroom Lee. You got dealt with. You got dealt with. Alrighty. Let's see. Let's check its moves. Let's see. Um, okay, we can do it. Alright, let's go ahead. Fluff Blade for the win. Alright, Fluff Blade. You don't like me, and I don't like you. Let's go with a disarming voice. Here comes a slash attack. And wow, that nearly defeats Fluff Blade, but here comes the final blow. Bam! Disarming voice for the win. Okay, and there we go. Fluff Blade earns this one, level 24. And, well, let's see. Here comes Macargo. We're going to be switching it up to Hydra right here. So I guess it's like, what, the first time we're going to be battling with Hydra? Is it? Probably? I don't know. All right, Hydra. Time to defend everybody's honor. And this right here... Is the first time that we're looking at a Macargo. Unfortunately, it's going to learn the hard way with a Surf attack. Here it goes. Surf. Quad damage. And there goes Macargo. See, that's what happens when you're both rock and fire. Portia is just not happy about this. You can't take it anymore. <laughs> uh, how come you can't take it anymore? And where's the shore? Which way is the solid ground? Huh, please, I'm uneasy here. So please come again. How about follow me? Like right here. And, well, we finally reached the shore of uh, Slateport City. And I guess we finally did everything in the west side of uh, Slateport City, or the west side of Hoenn. Let's go ahead and take a look at the map right here. So, it looks like to me we have already done everything in the west side that needs to be done. In the next episode, we are going to be doing the Trick House, I think, the two more times. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being uh, patient as always. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.